No girl, it's not you. If you've recently picked up items from H&M and you can't seem to find the right fit, I'll tell you why in this video. Keep on watching. <laughs> Hope your day is going well. Today's video, as the title says, is going to be a H&M haul. So this H&M haul is actually a combination of two hauls. Um, I decided to just put everything together and film a collective haul for you guys. I'm not only going to be trying on the items, I'm going to be doing some light styling and I'm going to be reviewing the pieces. If we haven't met yet, my name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty and lifestyle. So without further ado, <laughs> Let's get into this video. Crinkled Sheer Pink Perfection. Okay, that's what I thought when I finally got this top. So I have been eyeing this top for months, but I just like saved it and left it and ordered something else. It has this like crinkly fabric, which means I don't have to worry about steaming it. Um, it has the full sleeves, which Basically all the tops I'm buying this year have full sleeves, puff sleeves, whatever you want to call these sleeves. You pull it on over your head and then it has a cute little bow in the back that you tie. I actually have it paired with a pink top from my Zara haul, but I just think this is per this is just a perfect top. I have it on with jeans and I'm going to throw on some pumps, but you could also wear these with shorts as well. You could wear this with a skirt. like. You could actually make this top super dressy by pairing it with like a red pencil skirt and do like different tones. This actually fits y'all. I was like cautious as heck when I bought this, when I added this to my cart. I was like, this thing is probably not gonna fit. Let me not even bother. This, These are size 18 FYI jeans. I've been wanting these parachute jeans for the longest time. And the only place that I know that really does it is Zara and H&M, right? <sighs> I've been eyeing it and eyeing it for a while now. And then I grabbed these. Now I can tell you right now, these don't fit like parachute jeans. They're kind of like a hybrid between more of like a straight leg and a parachute. They're not fully parachute. But I think the reason why they fit is because parachute jeans are t typically cut really voluminous around the hips and really tapered around the ankle. So you guys can see I was able to get this on. It is quite snug, okay, around the midsection. What they look like, we got them on when, unlike in the Zara video when they couldn't pass my thighs, I would give it a seven and a half just because it doesn't fit on me how it's supposed to. So this is like a vintage cut. It's high-waisted, it has this little detail right here. It also has um, one, two pleats right here by the pocket. And it's like a stiff fabric, but I feel like it's that stiff fabric that will stretch a little bit over time, not a lot, but a little bit. It has regular pockets here. It also has pockets in the back like so so just like a traditional five pocket jeans what i love about these jeans are all the little details i don't know if you can see but like it's a five pocket jean this little stud here that um holds that pocket in place is in the same tan color the button is in the same tan color i just love that attention to detail let me know in the comments what you think because honestly 
I'm just glad that it fit. <laughs> That's it, really. So, I just have it on with the oversized t-shirt. But I would pair this because it's so high-waisted with like maybe a little crop top. That's probably how I would style this. Alright, so the next dress is going to be this floral print dress. The color is initially what drove my eyes towards this dress. It comes with a, in a bunch of colors and a, a bunch of um, prints. So if you're interested in the dress, I will link it for you down below. It has like a deep V and then it buttons all the way down. And I love dresses like this because it means I can wear it two ways. You can unbutton a dress like this and just throw on a swimsuit underneath and it would be like a swimsuit cover up if you like. Um, the dress features like, you know, puff sleeves, um, a little bit of a statement-ish sleeve here and then it has like an elasticized opening for you so it's very comfortable in the arm um the dress is supposed to be like a fit and flare dress i got this in an extra extra large as you can see it's too big for me so it's supposed to be like more the waist is supposed to hit me more somewhere like this because this is where my natural waist is i thought about taking this in but i decided against it just imagine if it fit right if it was more like this and more like that you know be a cute little summer dress and i don't much you guys but i have been loving just one and done outfits just throwing a dress throwing a you know like a denim jacket or a straw hat grab a, a bag and some sandals and i'm out the door so the next item i want to talk to you guys about is going to be this top that i had on in my summer essentials video if you haven't seen that video i'll put a link to it for you down below but basically in that video i'm talking about my most worn summer essentials and i got so many questions about this top so many people wanted to know where i got it from and i promised that i was going to share it with you guys in this video yes it is from h and m i got this top in a size extra large and i would say it fits true to size and they give you an ample amount of rope to go around you as well so you don't even have to worry about that and the color of the top really makes it pop and it's like the finishing touch it also comes in a tan color as well or a beige color as well if this color is a little too bright for you but i dare you to have a little bit of fun with color this summer so this top is under their trend i believe concession on h&m and i love checking out the trend concession because that is where you get the really cool and super unique unique pieces it is a wrap top typically i'm not so in love with tops like this because i feel like they kind of lend a very more mature look however i feel like the combination of the fabric which is a very crinkly sort of like crepe type fabric and of course the design with the big sleeves with the exaggerated sleeves i feel like it makes up for the shape itself of the top now being that this is a wrap top that means it's going to be very forgiving and being that the hands are really full i would say that if you were up to a size um 18 a small 20 you could probably fit in this top the only thing that i would be wary of would be the cuff on the top itself which does not have any elasticity at all so it might be a little tight on your forearm but besides that i love everything about this top so anyway i'm gonna link to this top um for you guys down below and of course every other thing that i mention or feature in this video and yes this is from H&M. I know it's so good. Keep watching because I'll be telling you all about it later in the video. Polka dots are such a flirty and fun print. I just like the vibe that they give up. So when I saw this shirt that had like all of my favorite things right now, the puff sleeves um, cropped and then polka dot it and then this cute little detail in the back, I was like, okay you have to be mine. Like the cute detail on the back sold me on this. It has this band that goes across that really helps to cinch in your waist and then it has some pleating right underneath 
your bust and then we have the puff sleeves we have an elasticated cuff on this as well so it will accommodate you know different arm sizes i'm wearing this in an extra large i believe that was the largest size that i saw on this site so i love a top like this especially with that cut out in the back because that means you get some air in so i decided to just pair it with this silk midi skirt that i've had for a while if you're not a stranger to this channel you already know um, this skirt because I wore it to death last summer you can wear black during the summer and this is a perfect example I wear something like this to somewhere I want to be put together but still want to be comfortable so the next item is gonna be this top right here print instantly caught my attention i felt like it was a print that i could wear with different things it's black white and green um perfect for spring perfect for summer very fresh and i like that it has some black in it because you guys know how i love my black so i knew like i could wear this all through summer but i could also potentially transition it into fall with some black skinny jeans or even some leather pants i got this in a, in a 2xl as you guys can see it's a little bit more roomy than i would like so i would definitely grab this in a extra large if i were to reorder this again it features this like ruching detail around the bust the um it also has like these puff sleeves that are elasticated over here it also has like a um gathering detail in the back as well so if you happen to have like a wider back you have a little bit of give with this top really this shirt you could even i could have even gotten this in a large if i wanted it to have a closer fit because of that smocking in the back so if you're like a size maybe 20 22 um and you're thinking definitely if you're a size 20 i would say you could still um fit in this because i regularly wear 16 and this has quite a bit of room i just paired this with some shorts you could also pair this with some high-waisted pants as well you can totally dress this top up and you can totally dress this top down that's one of the reasons why I grabbed it I, and also the color I just feel like it's really it's it's very vibrant and fresh you know I love this shade of green the next item I want to share with you guys is this gorgeous white dress you can never have enough white dresses that's one of the things we talked about in my most worn essentials video I got this dress in a size 2XL, I believe. If I were to do it over again, I probably would have gotten an extra large. I am 5'7", so bear that in mind. If you're shorter than me, then you you don't have to worry about the length as much. If you're taller than me, especially if you have a butt, um, you may want to worry about the length a little bit. It features puff sleeves. It buttons all the way down. I like that the bottom half of the dress is lined, but I do like the fact that the top half isn't lined because it helps with circulation. Now, when I saw this fabric, I thought it was actually going to be a stiff fabric, a woven fabric, but it does have stretch to it. It is a jersey fabric. It also features a puff sleeve, which I'm just in love with the whole puff sleeve and V-neck. It's super flattering, especially if you're like a pear shape because it really helps to draw the eye upwards. But the best part about this dress, honey, is the fact that it's under $20. I was shook too. So I'm gonna put a link to the dress for you guys down below as well just in case you're interested in it when i saw this online i instantly wanted to add it to my cart um because it really reminded me of the top i had last year that i picked up from asos that was like a tie front top i love tops like this to pair with high-waisted pieces once i saw it on site i already knew how i was gonna style it here's the thing i got an extra extra large as well okay <laughs> So, as you can see, it's quite roomy, it's quite big, it's not exactly what I had in mind when I got the top. But the thing that really got to me about this top, it literally looks like a top that you could tie. As soon as I put it on, I realized that it was quite big. So I was like, okay, you know what, no issues, I'm just gonna, you know, untie this, right? I'm just gonna untie it and tie it tighter. <laughs> well, guess what? <laughs> You can't do that with this top. As you can see, so this is what it looks like when you see it on the website. I probably could have gotten this top in a large, but the only thing I would say is that if I had gotten this top in a large, then the, the arms would definitely be snug. But however, there's so much room in the top. 
I could take it. I could take it in if I really wanted to, but I think I'm not sure about this one. So let me know in the comments below what you think about this top. Should I take the time and take the top in or should I just send it back on its merry way? The lettuce hem on this top, so cute. That's the first thing I noticed when I saw it. This smock top really caught my eye because the color, I knew it was gonna be versatile enough to pair with all the things in my closet that I'm loving this season, from my white linen pants, to my lighter colored jeans, to this slip skirt. So I just knew that this top would have a lot of versatility in my wardrobe. It features this smocking detail going through the entire top. So very cute, kind of girly. However, I got this in extra large and you guys can see it is tight. It is tight. But you can see the potential of a top like this. All I have to do is throw on like a strappy sandal, a cute little clutch, and I have an outfit that's perfect and ready for date night. If you're like me, you're probably, you've probably been like, what the hell is going on? with H&M sizing. So I'm gonna be reviewing all of that towards the end of the video. So make sure to keep on watching. I feel like I have to have at least one Mickey shirt in my wardrobe. I just tuck them into these high-waisted shorts. I typically buy my graphic tees from the men's section. This one is from the women's section and I'm wearing it in an extra, extra large. And I would say that it runs small because it fits me perfectly. And based on this haul, my regular size at H&M is an extra large. But I just love how well it paired with these shorts, especially because it has like this tan detail and that goes really well with the shirt. I would do these with um, wraparound sandals. You could even do these with like um, the square toe heels, maybe mules. Yes, with a heeled mule, this would be cute as well. You guys know how I feel about yellow. If you're following me on Instagram, you know we talk about this color all the time, this mustard color. You guys have aptly dubbed it my color on Instagram. First of all, it feels like you're naked. Let's start with that because it is so lightweight. It's also low-key, like a teensy bit see-through, which is why I had to put on some like sh um, black shorts. But this is the perfect, per, per, can I say perfect any more time? Beach dress. You look like the sun. It's so lightweight that you won't even feel the sun. And it has these full sleeves again. So if you don't love your arms, like showing off your arms, well, this will keep them covered, but it's so lightweight that you won't even mind okay then it has this really cute detail here i don't know if there's an official term for this type of like loop button situation but i just love it it's giving me like vintage tunic vibes and then it has this little drop hem detail at the bottom as well let me know what you think because i obviously love this dress i would love to know your opinion i remember i saw a comment um from my what video was that? Summer Essentials video. And the person was talking about um, how, how hard it is to dress for summer as a plus size person. One of the biggest tips I can give you as a curvy girl is to really pay attention to the fabrics you wear and the cuts you wear. You want something that floats off your body. This is the worst time to wear any thick jersey, bodycon, spanx like fabric. If you were just going to the basics, I would probably just grab my beach tote because like I said, this is like such a beach dress. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. If you wanna find me when I'm not on YouTube, make sure to join our Instagram fam. Links to all of my socials will be down below. If you enjoyed this haul, make sure to check out this video. And for more outfit ideas and summer styling, check out this video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, Stay blessed. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be in the comments below. 